I'm going to explain about plug-in hybrids and specifically the Prius plug-in. Now the car has a button to push to open the fuel door. Prius plug-in runs on gasoline. So this is explaining how it works. So plug-in hybrid, you have to keep gasoline in the car. That is mandatory. It is not optional. So these various cars I'm showing you on my videos are Prius plug-in hybrids. What does that mean? Okay, these cars run on gasoline. You must always keep gasoline in the car. The gas goes on the left side. They're a little different than a regular Prius though. Regular Prius runs on gasoline, but the Prius plug-in is just like a regular Prius, except it has a bigger two-stage battery that you can plug in at home using the included charging cord okay you got the easy you plug it in if you're plugged into power the little light will come on the car will start charging you do that every day when you drive around all day you come home at the end of the day plug in the car and in the morning when you're ready to go unplug the car that way you charge it once a day some people don't do that those people are crazy if you can't plug it in because you live in an apartment, I understand. I feel sorry for you because you really want to plug this car in. I showed on my videos, this car is indicating 91 miles per gallon. This car is indicating 75 miles per gallon. That doesn't mean that this car is getting better gas mileage than this car. It is on the sample, but what you have to understand, these are dual fuel vehicles. They run on electricity and gasoline. Now if you never plug them in, the best you're gonna get is about 50 miles per gallon. But if you do plug them in for the first 10 to 15 miles, you're gonna be getting a thousand miles per gallon. The screen, if you reset it, will indicate 999 miles per gallon from your electric charge. Doesn't matter which one of these cars you choose, they'll all do the same thing. Okay, 999 miles per gallon for the first 10 to 15 miles. Let's call it 11 miles. If you're getting 11 miles of electric driving, getting 1,000 miles per gallon, that translates to about 4,000 miles, 4,024 miles per year of pure electric driving if you charge it once a day. Of course, if you charge it twice a day, you can get 8,000 miles a year of electric driving. Now your average driver drives about 12 to 15,000 miles a year, which means one third to one quarter of your driving will be getting 1,000 miles per gallon. Now, your mileage will vary depending on how much you charge it versus how far you drive it between charges. That's the key factor. If you don't like to go to the gas pump, come home and charge it every day. You may be able to go one or more months without buying fuel. Because let's do the math. This car's getting 91 miles per gallon. I have another car that's indicating 140 miles per gallon. This one's 72 or 75 miles per gallon. Okay, let's do the math on 75 miles per gallon, the most conservative. Okay, if you're getting 75 miles per gallon, that means you're driving 750 miles on 10 gallons of gas. If you're driving 12 to 15,000 miles a year, you're gonna have to buy gas once or twice a month. If you take a lot of short trips and you charge it often, your gas mileage is gonna be closer to 140 miles per gallon. And at 140 miles per gallon, that means you're going 1,000 400 miles on a tank of fuel on 10 gallons of gas realistically this car when you fill it up it takes about nine gallons between fill-ups so maybe you have to buy gas once a month if you're getting that kind of mileage if you see someone filling up more than twice a month with this car they're either driving a lot or they're not charging it and that's why these cars qualify for these purple stickers or the red stickers or the green stickers. I'm going to explain the stickers now. 
And this car is special because it is eligible to display the new light purple carpool access OK stickers. Now I'm going to include this memo in my video here to explain about the purple purple access stickers. You may have seen these cars before with a green or even the new red carpool stickers. Well, the, from now on, each year has a different color. The stickers are good for three full years or the remaining portion of the fourth year. So the red stickers are the 2018 stickers. The light purple stickers are the 2019 stickers. And the red stickers are valid until 2022. So here's a car with the red stickers. Red carpool stickers are valid until 2022. The purple stickers are the, the red stickers are the 2018 color, valid until 2022. The light purple are valid 2019 through 2023. Each year, they're gonna change the sticker color. Kinda of like they do on vehicle registration stickers. Okay, they're a different color every year. That's what they're gonna do going forward. But different than the registration stickers, these stickers are gonna expire at the end of the final year. So the green stickers, for example, are expending, extend, uh, expire at the end of 2018, as do the white stickers. So if you buy a car that had the green sticker or had the white sticker assigned to it before 2017, it cannot get stickers anymore. It's joined the club of 235,000 cars permanently kicked out. Now each year going forward, they're gonna permanently kick out more cars starting in 2022 under the new program. This is like the third or fourth generation of the carpool sticker game. So beware if you buy a car that has the green stickers it probably can never get the carpool stickers again under current state law. People who bought 2016s and got the stickers in 2016, they're the ones getting burned in this thing. They're screwed because they only get two to three years out of the carpool sticker. Everybody else, the people who bought in 17 or 18, can get four, three to five years. It's very unfair the way they do it. But since the beginning of this program, they've always said they reserve the right to cancel the stickers whenever they decide necessary. But they're good now if you get the light purple or red, go for it.